ever wonder how to make agent actions talk to each other in this video i'll show you how exactly you can pass the output of one action into another step by step with a real time example whether you are just trying out agent force or you are stuck with a scenario where you need to pass the output of one action to another action you'll seamlessly learn how to do that in the in this video so let's dive in. I'm quickly switching to the Salesforce org. I've created a service agent and the name of the service is agent service agent demo. In this, in this service agent, I've created a topic saying Tableau interactions. So as a part of this demo, what I'll be demonstrating is I have a third party system, which is a tableau and i want to get the token from there using that token i want to place a call to the tableau so that we can execute the next actions so just to make things simpler in order to avoid the connection and all the details that are required to make a connection i've just made it simple i'll just walk you through what exactly it is and then we'll see how exactly we can pass the value from the first call to the second one so as of now, the topic that I have is Tableau Interactions. I've made it simple with the basic details that I've provided as instructions. And in the actions, I have two actions. One is the Tableau Authentication, which is the first call that I'll be making so that we get the token. And the intention is to pass that token to the second action, which is pass auth value class. So this is an these two are two apex classes what it is doing is it takes the value from the first second one and pass it to the first one to display the value so that is what it will do so basic configuration in the action so there is an input that it takes which is an org name and it displays two values which is content url and token similarly i have this paths authenticator pass auth value class which basically takes the input from the first class and basically displays an output. In order to get the better understanding of what it is, I'll just quickly go you and I'll quickly go and I'll quickly go ahead and show you the classes first before I demonstrate what exactly has been built so far. So this is an auth generator class. The first call that we have in here, which is this Tableau Authenticator authentication calls this class inside this class it calls this method which goes by the name sign into the tableau i've used an invoke method with a label which says tableau authentication so that is what we are seeing in here tableau authentication so you can always use the label to differentiate the methods and make the admins aware that in in terms of what they have to configure or the other developers to make their life is in terms of what they're calling. So in this method, what I'm doing is I'm just mimicking the token and the content URL. It takes a request. This method takes a request in the form of list. And that list is nothing but a wrapper request that we have, which is this one. So this wrapper basically has an org name. That is what we are asking the user at the starting when we are requesting for the token. So this is the org name. So it has been captured in here. And similarly, as a response, what I'm doing is I'm generating a token and a content content URL in the form of a wrapper. So I've just hard coded this values just for this demo to avoid the connection and everything in real time. You can use this space to make the call and get the actual token and the necessary parameters that you want to pass it back to the agent force builder so this is the response that i've created i've just passed these two values to this constructor which is basically setting this token and the content url and it is returning that value so at the end what we have is we have a tablet authenticator method which is basically producing the content url and the token for us and the intention is use this token in the next call that we are making which is the pass auth value class 
So again, this is taking a simple input here and displaying an output. So let's go ahead and see what is there in this class. So if I go to this class, again, it has a request and a response. So in the request, it is taking a parameter called auth input and a response it is giving a value called auth value. So what I'm doing here is a simple thing, whatever the request that we're getting in here, which is the auth input, I'm taking that auth input and putting it in a text saying, this is the value passed from the other class, passed, I'll just update it, passed from the other class and I'm just displaying that value in here. And then whatever that has been built here, I'm just passing it as a response by putting it in the wrapper, which is in this, this format. So this is what I've done in order to expose this method. I've just uh, put an at it uh, invoke method so that way the agent force builder would be able to pick this up. So that is the changes that we have made. Now this is the setup that we have. Let's go ahead and test it. So I'll just say, I'll just refresh it. So I'll say generate Tableau token. So it is asking me to give the organization name. So it is going into this. Let me just go and show you show you this one. In this instructions, we have two actions. And as of now, the first action has been invoked. How do, how do I know that one? It's because I have configured in a way that whenever I ask for a token, this is the action that gets invoked. I hit cut that part. So I'll just give it as test. So I've not I mean, I'm not using this value, so there is no problem giving any value in here. So I'll say test org. Now agent force would basically give me an output here. So if you see here, which action has been invoked, you can basically deduct it from here. So action launched is the Tableau authentication. So this is the action that we have configured. It is taking the input, whatever that I've provided in here, and it is getting the response in here. So this is how you can debug in case if there is any kind of an issue or any error that you face or anything that is not aligned with your output. So now my next action is I need to pass this test token for demo, which is a dummy token that I have hard coded. I need to pass this value to the next prompt, which is pass auth value. Now my action is to pass this token to the next call, which is pass auth value class. So let's go ahead and see how we can do that. So the, the connection between these two things can be established using a concept called context variables. So the idea here is if I go back to the topics and show you this one, and I'll just do this. So I need to get the value from here, which is this token or any values that I have in here and I can do the mapping. So from token here, what I need to do is So what I need to do here is I've opened this auth authenticator token generator in the first step and the pass auth, pass auth value class in the second one. So the intention here is get the value from here, from this token as an output, like whatever the output that we're getting and pass it to this auth input. So how we can do that? The concept relies on the connection between these two things can be done using context variables. So if you click on context variables, there are multiple context variables that are already there. We can use the message settings and the custom variables. So I'll go ahead and create one custom variables or you can look at this values to see if anything fits for your requirement, go ahead and use it. So for now, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and create a new variable here. So I'll click on new variable, I'll just name it as token value and description holds the token from 
tableau auth data type i'll just keep it as text all right so it is asking me to which so we'll keep the simple so this is a new option that came up we'll keep the simple as of now in here so we'll create a custom variable here click on save so a new custom variable under the context variable has been created let's go ahead and see what has been changed for us so i'm again back on the auth authenticator or token generator action i'll go under the token if you see a section called map to the variable if i click on it that is where i can tag that variable that has been created to this output which is this token now the output mapping is done we need to do the same for the input as well pass auth authenticate pass auth value class so under this class what i am doing going to the input variable and i'll just tag the same value in here so since it is already been opened previously i'll just close this one so that we can go back to the action in here so the previous tab didn't has a reference of the token that have the variable that i've created so i'll just close that one come back in here on the auth variable scroll down we'll see token value so this is the value that we need to pass so what we have done so far so these are two actions that i have now what i have done is i've taken a variable in here and i told the system that or i told the agent force that store the value token value store the token value in here which is the context variable and once it is stored i want you to pass it to the second action second action and pass it to the input that i have which is auth input so this is what we have done if you see here take this value from where from the token token which is an output store it in a context variable which is token value that i've created and use this value to the auth input so this is we have done so far let's go ahead and see this in action all right so since we have made couple changes let's go ahead and refresh this one all right so let's generate the token once more and i'm just starting from this uh, first so i'll just give the org name so it will give me the token in here so now what i'll do i'll go ahead and say show tableau token which would invoke the second class so if i just go ahead and show you this one so it is invoking the second class after the this value has been set and if you see as an input it says test token for demo which is taking this value from here and passing it to this one All right so this is how you would basically go ahead and pass the value around and if you see in the auth token so this is the token value that we are passing and it has been captured as an input using the context variable using that context variable we are just printing this value getting the first instance of the auth input and just returning that value and hence you would see an output as here is the tableau token this is this this is something that has been coming from our class so this is the value passed from the other class this is the value of it similarly you can do the mapping for the others as well So just in case if you want to 
change the mapping in here say let's say i want to get the context so in case if you want to just uh, get another value into your this one so let's say i just want to change it a little so i just want to say pass the content url instead of token to the other class so i'm just use reusing the mapping in here i've removed the mapping from here just to test the logic so from the content url which is this one i'll just pass it to the second class so this is the output that i've taken i'll go back to the pass at value authenticator so we have still have the token map to this one so let's do the test again so i'll say generate auth to generate tableau token we'll say test org one all right so we still have the same hard coded values coming in so this time let's see what it would show if we say show token all right so if you see here instead of directly taking the token it is taking the content test content url this is because of the mapping that we have done even though we are asking for the token but the mapping that we have done here is take the content url pass it to the auth value which is this one and we see the output in here so we're not just relying on the label names here we are actually taking the value that is required and passing to the right input here so that brings us to the end of this video hope you have liked it if you have liked it like share and subscribe to our sftc quest